New this morning, Michigan State University's Broad Art Museum opened a new exhibit this weekend, taking a closer look at Mexican artist Frida Kahlo and some of the lesser known facts about her life. Where it, what it says here is amputación tercio medio de pierna derecha. So this is when she had her right leg amputated. This exhibit came about with, in conversation with Cristina Kahlo, Frida's grand niece. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist in the late 1970s. She's one of the most important female artist women of the 20th century. Museum Executive Director Monica Ramirez Monagut says this exhibit in the MSU Broad Art Museum is meant to show some of Frida's work. We do have a self-portrait of Frida from 1932 that was done in a hospital, in the uh, Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, soon after she had, you know, some health issues. And highlight some of the things people might not have known. With her doctors, they became close friends. She would ask them for health advice, but she would also ask them for personal and political advice. And on occasion, she actually could not pay her bills. I don't know that that's uh, something that folks know, but she would actually paint uh, some canvases for her doctors and give them as gifts in the state of paying some of the bills. Ramirez Monagut says this collection is also meant to be relatable. It is a, a perspective of humanizing someone that has become an icon, almost an image, and just bringing her down to earth and to have a conversation with us during challenging global pandemics that we're having right now. It includes never before seen medical archives from her hospital stay in Mexico. In one of the files, it says that she had, uh, for breakfast, she had orange juice, but she also had orange juice with two spoons of sugar, which means that she was probably diabetic. The Ramirez Monagu hopes can be analyzed by healthcare providers who come see the documents. We're showing a, uh, um, Information on Frida for the first time ever and has not yet been processed, right? So we're hoping that a lot of research and a lot of new perspectives on Frida will come from, from visiting this show. While this exhibit highlights some of Kahlo's work, it's also meant to highlight healthcare providers. I think a lot of visitors will, will identify with some of Frida's situations, right? And we are living in a global pandemic. Our healthcare, healthcare providers, the people that take care of us have become of, you know, paramount importance in our everyday life. And humanize someone so many look up to. Her story is a story of resilience. It's a story of chronic pain. It's a story of a very brave woman that made this whole journey widely available to the public through her art and now through, through you know, stories that she helps us tell through the photos that she documented of herself in the, in the hospital, in the letters that she wrote from the hospital. The exhibit is open now through August 7th. The museum will host special events related to the exhibit, including Kahlo's family members as guest speakers later this summer.